How do you determine if it's a good toilet paper to use or not? Does it matter? Why are we even asking this question? Anybody know? So, so what is toilet paper or paper a derivative of? Trees. Wood. So what's a good way to preserve wood? Put it in water. <laughs> so think about what it is. It's a wood fiber, and one of the ways to break it down is really to have it out in air and moist, but not actually underwater. Now, it has changed its properties and is not quite the same underwater, but use that thought process that these are really a lot of wood fibers that make up paper. So when we do what we do and flush it, is it breaking apart or is it staying together? My world would be when I go to pump the tank, I want to see toilet paper in the tank when I pump it. I want it to stay together because if it's not, where is it going? What goes in the drain field? Liquid. We don't want the solids in the drain field. We want it to stay in the tank. So how do we know the difference? What do we do? Go home, Sunday morning, you're bored, tear a square of toilet paper off. Put it in a saucer, put it in a, in a jar that you can put a lid on with water in it. Leave it alone. Do what your thing is. Have your coffee, read your newspaper, watch TV, whatever it is you do. 20 minutes later, grab it up and shake that bottle up. If it turns completely milky white and doesn't stay together, probably not the right stuff. If it generally holds together, probably the right stuff. Now the bad news is, about every six or months or a year, because of the products coming in, the paper changes and the product may change. So just because it is good today doesn't mean in a year from now it's going to be. And you get it burned more often if it doesn't destroy it. And again, my home with my daughters, every couple, three years, we're pumping a tank because you have that kind of an issue. More solids in it. And what happens when the solids build up, if you don't pump the tank, it eventually pushes solids out. And you lose that capacity, the attenuation capacity, the ability for the liquid to slow down. So when I flush the toilet, if I'm an old system, I got five to seven gallons of water going in. Does that mean five to seven gallons go out? Yes. But it comes in in about 30 seconds and it takes about the next you know, 15 minutes to quit coming out the back end of the septic tank. So it slows down in the tank, allows separation, and allows liquid to go out. Make sense? Okay. We're really just trying to keep liquid in, or the liquid going to the drain field and the solids in the tank.